hello students uh, let's start the unit number 5 of foundation engineering which is copper dams and foundation on black cotton side so today i will try to cover the first part of unit number five, that is copper dams so first what is copper dam here in the first image you can see that the one structure which is constructed in the water uh, it is totally surrounded with water some activity which is going on within that structure and there are two supporting platforms are connected with the uh, that structure and again to that platform one crane one uh, boat it is uh, working and it is uh, making some construction activity so this structure is nothing but a copper dam so copper dams are temporary structures used to keep the water out and the soil so as to permit the dewatering and the construction of permanent facility or structure is uh, possible so copper dam is a temporary structure which is constructed in the water body so we can make some space in the water and that space it is initially deep water and then that open space that area it is used for the construction activity so a copper dam is a temporary structure designed to keep water or soil out of the excavation in which a bridge pier or any other structure can be built so the what is the meaning of copper dam copper means box so copper is the box and it is used to create some space to take up the foundation works in the marine region it may be for any water body it may be near to the marine area river stream or lake it is necessary to obstruct the water flow by means of copper dam so we can obstruct that flow and we can create some space to construct the structure what is purpose of copper dam to retain the soil or water we also we can also use that uh, copper dam partially near to the bank and partially in the water or it is totally covered with water can be used either as a temporary or the permanent structure main purpose is to provide the dry working area for the workers so they can continue that construction activity it is constructed to facilitate pile driving operations it means it is also useful to create some space of for pile driving so in case of pile driving heavy machinery and equipment will require because manually Nowadays, it is not possible to drive a pile with a diameter of at least 0.3 meter or up to 1.2 meter. So we can use uh, these uh, facility to provide or to create some space for pile driving operation. It is used to place the grillage as well as the rough foundation. It is used when the foundations for piers uh, and abutments, pier for bridges, is to be constructed. Uh, it is also useful for dam, locks, and are to be used for any other activities such as rocks and harbor selection of copper dam we can select that copper dam based on the low head waters uh, we can use that earth fill copper dam for low head waters narrow excavation so single wall street pile copper dams otherwise double wall street copper dams will be used for the narrow excavation when the space is less the material available at site we can use that material for the construction of copper dam the possibility of over topping by floods it means in any area where the sudden inflow is expected in that area we can say it is the overtopping by flood uh, the tides in case of marine area the nature of bed on which the copper dam is to be rest so the deep deposits of uh, soft clay or heavy earth filled clay for cellular copper dams would not be suitable in that case so we can use a single sheet pile copper dam in that case so it can support uh, up to a long time with maximum efficiency uh, then the nature of velocity of flow that is water flow with uh, the low current or the swift current so in case of high current the more thickness and more stability and the more depth will require to maintain the stability of structure the chances of bed erosion due to reduction of waterway caused by the construction of copper dam it is also a major region in that case that concrete uh, piles are more useful the facility available for the transportation equipment material required for the construction of copper dam so again it is it is one of the major issue because we need to transport we need to move all those material equipments on the site so in this session we are going to learn we are going to understand the four types of copper dam let's start with the first steel sheet pile copper dam precast concrete pile copper dam interlocking circular pile copper dam and reinforced concrete diaphragm uh, copper dam so first it is steel sheet pile copper dam so single wall copper dam it is one of the single part copper dam it is used in places where the area to be enclosed by very small depth of water up to 4.5 to 6 meter a single row of sheet pile it is provided it means for example this example single row of sheet pile it is provided say single row which can retain that water 
single row is provided uh, on the whole length of the copper dam. Uh, guide piles will require. Guide piles are first driven into deep water or river bed, and the spacing between uh, the guide pile it is 1.8 to 3 meters. The sandbag also stack on the inside and outside faces so that sheet pile can increase stability. We can uh, provide the rattle stability to them. So these are the sheet piles, okay, and these are the guide wells or guide blocks. So this shape indicates this figure indicates the sheet pile, and these two are the guide blocks so again this is the driving direction so that sheet pile it is we can drive that pile in directly vertical direction so we can use that guide block to prevent the twisting of sheet pile so again this is the second example of sheet pile so it is partially connected with the uh, bank so there is the water structure and we can uh, retain we can use that pile sheet piles to store that water uh, then the 